I'm Stacy Brooks, and this is Jesse Prince, and we're both with the Lisa McPherson Trust in Clearwater, Florida. The Lisa McPherson Trust, or the LMT as we call it, is a Scientology watchdog organization uh, whose purpose is to help people who've been abused by Scientology. Today, Jesse and I are going to demonstrate uh, what Scientology calls the training routines, or TRs. Scientologists are taught that the TRs are designed to help them communicate better with other people. Critics of Scientology feel that the TRs create a hypnotic state in a person or a trance-like state in a person that makes them more easy to manipulate or to control. Today, Jesse and I are going to demonstrate these TRs and you can make your own decision about what they do. The first one we're going to do is called OTTR0, which stands for Operating Thetan Zero. And the training stress of this exercise is two people sit facing each other with their eyes closed without twitching or moving or using a system or a body part to be there comfortably. And this is what OTTR0 looks like. Ready? Okay. In an actual training routine, this would go on for many hours, sometimes days. People talk about um, sitting here um, with their eyes closed and starting to feel very lightheaded, um, starting to hallucinate, and they have to sit there with their eyes closed, as we just demonstrated, until they no longer feel these kinds of things, um, until they can just sit here comfortably and not hallucinate or, or feel lightheaded or anything like that. And um, as I said, sometimes this takes days for a person to be able to get to that point. Once a person has passed OTTR0, they're ready to move on to the next TR, which is TR0. TR0 is very similar to OTTR0, with the exception that when we sit across from each other, this time we have our eyes open and we're just facing each other. I'm going to be the coach here for this TR0. And so what that means is that if Jesse uh, does any kind of unnecessary blinking or if he looks away for even an instant or uh, looks down or does anything other than sitting there facing me comfortably, I'm going to flunk him and then we'll have to restart the drill. So here we go. This is TR0. Start. Okay, flunk. You, you scratched your nose. Okay. Start. Flunk, you looked away. Start. Flunk, you're squirming in your chair. Start. Okay, flunk, you sneezed. Start. Alrighty then. <laughs> okay, Flunk, you, you talked. Oh. Start. Flunk, you're closing your eyes. Start. Okay, that's a pass. Normally, this goes on for hours at a time, days at a time, until a person can actually sit there just facing another person, never looking away, blinking very little, never talking, never doing anything. Um, I think TR0 is probably the TR that uh, critics of Scientology uh, find most disturbing. Um, it's in this TR that uh, a person really uh, develops a, a fairly unblinking uh, look at other people 
that, that people in the streets of Clearwater, for example, have commented on, the Scientologists that they pass in the street, um, basically are using their TRs on the people that they see as they're walking down the street. Now, once a person has um, passed TR0, they're ready to move on to the next training routine, which is TR0 bull baited. On TR0 bull bait, the coach attempts to distract the student or break concentration in any way. And if he does that, then the person, the student is given a flunk and the drill is started again until the person can sit there having fingers pointed very close to his eye, being yelled at, screamed at, uh, jokes, whatever, until he can just sit there and not react to it. Now in this drill, Jesse's going to be the coach and I'll be the student. So Jesse's going to bull bait me until I can sit here comfortably no matter what he does. Ready? Yeah. Start. You have an eye tick. <laughs> Flunk, you flinched. Start. You have an eye tick. <laughs> Flunk, you flinched. Start. You have an eye tick. Okay, flunk, you weren't as bad as you were before. You're getting better at it. Ready? Start. You have an eye tick. Oh, you really think you're smart now, huh? You really? Okay. Flunk for smiling. Start. Oh, you really think you're smart now, huh? You really think you have it together, huh? Why are your eye jumping around like that? Uh-huh. <laughs> Flunk for smiling. <laughs> okay. Start. Oh, Lord, my head is hurting so bad. Ah! Pay attention when I'm speaking. Mm. Mm. Flunk for smiling. Start. Hmm. Hmm. Look at you. Looking like some bedpan in a mental institution. Well. Ah. <laughs> Flunk for smiling. Start. Hmm. You really think you got it together now, don't you? <laughs> Be careful. Be careful, I could be dangerous. Is that your mother over there? Is that your mother in the corner? What's your mom doing over there? She needs to be home. Oh, goodness gracious, the dog is eating the cat. See? The dog's eating the cat. Okay, that's a pass. You did real good. Thanks. Well, now I'm to the point where I can be here comfortably uh, no matter what somebody's throwing at me. Now it's time to go on to TR1, which Jesse will explain. TR1 is called Dear Alice. And what we do in TR1 is we read lines from the book Alice in Wonderland to each other. And the purpose is, is to be able to clearly read these lines as if you're saying them yourself and not reading them. What I'm doing is I'm giving Jesse some pages out of the book, Alice in Wonderland, and he'll pick phrases out of these sheets from the book. Okay, Jesse, you ready to start? Yes. Okay, start. When I'm a duchess, I won't have any pepper in my kitchen at all. Okay, flunk, you look down and we're reading it instead of giving it to me. Okay. All right, start. All right. When I'm a duchess, I won't have any pepper in my kitchen at all. Flunk, you were fidgeting while you were giving me the command. Start. When I'm a duchess, I won't have any pepper in my kitchen at all. Good. Pepper always makes people... Uh. Okay, Flunk, you flood the command. Start. Oh, okay. Maybe it's pepper that always makes people hot-tempered. Good. I only wish people knew that. Good. Somebody said it's done by everyone minding their own business. Okay, Flunk, you were looking down at the page again. Oh, yeah. Okay, start. Okay. 
Somebody said that it was done by everybody minding their own business. Okay, Flunk, you were looking off to the side. Okay. Okay, start. Somebody said it was done by everybody minding their own business. Good. Oh, uh, well, it means much the same thing. Okay, Flunk, you were looking off again. Now keep your TR0 in when you're doing this. Okay. All right, start. Ah, uh, well, it means pretty much the same thing. Good. How fond she is of finding morals in things. Good. I dare say I'm wondering why you don't put your arm around my waist. Okay, Flunk, you just were fidgeting while you were giving me the command. Oh, you're Let's right, start. okay. I dare say you were wondering why I didn't put my arm around your waist. Good. I'm doubtful about the temperament of your flamingo. Good. Okay, that's a pass. Thank you. Now that Jesse's passed his TR1 drill, we're ready to go on to TR2. I'll read you a little bit about TR2 here. TR2 is known as the Acknowledgements TR. And the purpose is to teach a student that an acknowledgement is a method of controlling a person's communication and that an acknowledgement is a full stop. So we're just going to read again from the Dear Alice book. This time I'll be the coach and I'll read lines from the Dear Alice book. And Stacy has to give me an acknowledgement and the acknowledgement has to be a full stop. In other words, it has to terminate that communication and we move on to something else. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, start. It's a mineral, I think. Okay. Flunk. I didn't, you didn't acknowledge me and you didn't confront me either when you did it. Okay. Ready? Okay, start. It's a mineral, I think. Okay. Good. Only mustard isn't a bird. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to flunk you for not acknowledging soon enough. There was a lag between the time when I was done talking and you should have acknowledged me, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Start. I quite agree with you. Thank you. Okay. I think I should understand that better. All right. Flunk. That, that wasn't really yours and it didn't seem appropriate. Okay. okay. We'll try it again. I think I should understand that better. All right. Okay, that's better, but it was a little forced and a little unnatural, okay? Okay. We'll try it again. Okay. I think I should understand that better. All right. Good. Pray don't trouble yourself to say it any longer than that. Good. Okay. He took me for his household. Okay. Good. But I better take him his fan and gloves. Thank you. Okay, that, that was kind of like inappropriate. Okay. It didn't quite end it in the calm cycle there, so we'll try that one again, okay? okay? All right. But I better take him his fan and his gloves. Okay. Good. How queer it seems. All right. Okay, that's flunk for squirming around. Okay, we'll try that one again. How queer it seems. All right. Okay, that's a flunk for not looking at me when you said it. You still have to keep your earlier TRs in. Okay, I'm getting tired of this. Okay, well, let's keep on doing it, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. How queer it seems. Okay. Okay, that's better, but it's still a flunk because it's unnatural and you're forcing yourself to do it, okay? Okay. All right, so just make it your own and just give it to me like it says here. All right, here we go. How queer it seems. Okay. Good. But I've got to see that one mouse. Good. Okay. People don't like being ordered like that. Thank you. Good, let's pass. Now that we passed TR2, it's time to move on to TR3, the duplicative question TR. Now, with this TR, we start to move into uh, really drilling a student to be ready to conduct an auditing session as an auditor. 
in Scientology, an auditor is um, basically the equivalent of a, of a therapist or a psychotherapist in other kinds of uh, psychology or whatever. The auditor sits across a table from the person who in Scientology is called a preclear and asks the person certain questions. The, the person then uh, answers those questions and, and the auditor must get an answer to their question before they can move on in, in the auditing session. So this particular TR, TR3, uh, is designed to um, train an auditor to get an answer to their question. I'll just read you from the material on the TR, TRs, the purpose of the TR. And it is to teach a student to duplicate without variation an auditing question each time newly in its own new unit of time, not as a blur of other questions, and to acknowledge it, to teach that one never ask a second question until he has received an answer to the one asked. I'm going to be the coach, and Jesse's going to be the one asking repetitive questions, and I'm going to flunk him every time he uh, doesn't ask me the question newly and in a new unit of time. Okay, start. Do birds fly? Yes. Good. Do birds fly? Yeah. All right. Do birds fly? Yeah. Thank you. Do birds fly? Your glasses are crooked. I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? Your shirt is dirty. Okay, flunk. I distracted you. Start. Do birds fly? Your shirt is dirty. I repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? Yeah. Okay. Do birds fly? The sun is going down. Okay, flunk. You looked away. Start. Do birds fly? Yeah. Thank you. Do birds fly? The sun is going down. I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? Yeah. Thank you. Do birds fly? Yeah. Good. Do birds fly? That table is broken. I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? Yeah. Thank you. Do birds fly? You know, your mustache is crooked. Okay, flunk, you felt your mustache. Okay, start. Do birds fly? Yeah. Thank you. Do birds fly? Y you know, your mustache is crooked. Okay. Are we? <laughs> flunk. Ugh. You made a face. Okay. Okay, start. Do birds fly? Yeah. Thank you. Do birds fly? Y your mustache is crooked. I repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? And not only that, but your collar is really frayed. I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? Yeah. Thank you. Do birds fly? And your fingernails are very dirty. Okay, flunk, you looked at your fingernails. <sighs> okay. Start. Do birds fly? Your fingernails are really dirty. Okay, flunk, you looked at your fingernails. Oh, okay. Start. Do birds fly? Your fingernails are really dirty. I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? Yeah. Thank you. Do birds fly? Yeah. Good. Do birds fly? You need to wash your shirt. Okay, flunky. Come leg. Start. Okay. Do birds fly? Your shirt is dirty. I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? Yeah. Thank you. Do birds fly? Yeah. Thank you. Do birds fly? Your glasses are cracked. I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? Yeah. Thank you. Do birds fly? Yeah. Good. Do birds fly? Okay, that's a pass. Thank you. Okay, now that we've passed TR3, it's time to move on to TR4, which is called Preclear Originations. The purpose of TR4 is to teach the student not to be tongue-tied or startled or thrown off by session originations of Preclear and to maintain ARC with the Preclear throughout an origination. ARC means affinity, reality, and communication. In Scientology, it's considered that this triangle, affinity, reality, and communication, enable a person to communicate much better with people when they understand how this works. So what Jesse is talking about in this drill is teaching the auditor how to keep someone in communication during an auditing session when, they, uh, when their attention is diverted to something else during the session. And the commands for this training routine it is similar to the one we did before. The student runs, do fish swim, or do birds fly on coach. Coach answers now and then, but makes startling comments from a prepared list given by a supervisor. The student must handle the originations 
to the satisfaction of the coach. The preclear origination sheet is just a list of statements that the preclear can make for the drill. Things like, I feel all confused. I feel awfully tense. My head feels like it has a tight band around it. Things like that. And the training stress of this particular drill is the student is taught to hear origination and do three things. One, understand it. Two, acknowledge it. And three, return the preclear to session. If the coach feels abruptness or too much time consumed or a lack of comprehension, he corrects the student into better handling. So, you ready to go? Okay, so in this one, you're going to be the coach? Yes. Okay. You ready? Mm hmm Okay, start. Do birds fly? Yes, they do. Good. Do birds fly? <sighs> I just realized I've had a headache for years. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, let's carry on with the session. All righty. Good. Do birds fly? Yes, they do. Good. Do birds fly? Is that a booger hanging out your nose? I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? No. Good. Do birds fly? No. Okay. Do birds fly? Wow, this room seems bigger. It does? Yes. Okay. Well, let's carry on with the session. All righty. Okay. Do birds fly? Yes, they do. Good. Do birds fly? I think you messed up when you were trying to arch your eyebrows there. I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? Are you wearing contacts? I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? You know I never did like your hair. Okay. Is it okay with you if we go on with the session? Sure. All right. Do birds fly? Still don't like your damn hair. Okay. I'm going to give you the command again. Okay? Mm-hmm. Do birds fly? Yes, they do. Good. Do birds fly? Ooh, can I have a cigarette? Let's wait till the session's over, and then we'll have a cigarette, okay? Okay. All right. Do birds fly? Yes, they do. Good. Do birds fly? Your eyes stink. Do they? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, is it okay with you if we carry on, though? Yeah, okay. All right. Do birds fly? Yes, they do. Good. Do birds fly? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do birds fly? My, 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 what a long nose you have there. I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? No, absolutely okay. not. All right. Do birds fly? Mmm, I'm kind of feeling warm all over. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you the command again, all right? All righty. Okay. Do birds fly? Yes, they do. Okay. Do birds fly? No. Nope. Good. Do birds fly? This is silly. This is silly. This is silly. What's happening? This whole thing is just silly. Well, is it okay with you if we go on a little bit longer? Well, you know, if you want to indulge in silliness, I guess so. Okay. Can I give you the command again? Sure. All right. Do birds fly? Yes, they do. Good. Do birds fly? Weasel flying out your nose. I'll repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? Yes, they do. Good. Do birds fly? Yes, they do. Good. Okay, that's it. That's a pass. Great, thanks. I hope the TRs we've shown you have given you a good idea of the kind of indoctrination a Scientologist undergoes. These training routines are practiced by Scientologists for hundreds, if not thousands of hours, and these routines repeat themselves through later courses that a Scientologist takes throughout his career all the way up to and through the highest levels of Scientology training. By the time Scientologists have been through hundreds or even thousands of hours of this kind of indoctrination, they are very well conditioned to controlling other people and also to being controlled themselves.